I would say if you talk about community, we don't have, we don't have here. But we cannot blame, you know. It's our life in a city. Your time is all committed with your work. In the uh, landed property, you have uh, a more open environment. You don't have four brick walls, okay, where you hardly see the sunlight. You know, you come in, you close your door. The next day, you open your, your door, out you go, that's it. I think we need to build up, you know, the uh, neighbourhood relation, how we uh, interact. But it, it takes two for it to happen. I'm Wendy. This is my husband. Hui. Hi, I'm Zudin. I stay here almost two years. Hi, uh, I'm Sue. And this is Fidi. Hi, we've been here around a year plus. Uh, my name is Jasmine. And I live in Boulevard Residence for about two years. Hi, my name is Sammy. I'm Clarence. And this is... Elson. We live here for around one year. So we don't really know who our neighbours are per se. Like we've said hi, we've said bye, we've had a few conversations here and there. Uh, I don't know my neighbour is just check in, check out, just like that. When we stay in condo, like seldom talk to each other. Like we hang the clothes, also cannot see the neighbour. We just hang in the balcony. When you you know step into the lift, you're very busy. Handphone. The least you can do is just look up, give a smile. The day starts better, you know, I would say. Most people choose to stay at the high-rise residency because they want their privacy. And now, maybe we are more close people that 40 miles away rather than 40 doors away. In the end of the day, the build the neighbourhood is the people itself. So, I mean, we need to get to know each other lah, first. I mean, create conversation. Lah. Face to face, it's no more like a fictitious uh, to me. Uh. Actually, it gives you a sense of belonging that people are aware of you. That's the first step to community.